ClickUp just announced a revamped calendar. But is it a game changer like they say, or just hype like so many tools and features we see today? Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get set up and automated using industry leading portals, apps, and integrations. Now I have personally seen plenty of agencies using ClickUp with absolute chaos. Tasks are scattered, projects are hard to track, and team members end up only individually managing their tasks and then collaborating through Slack or email. ClickUp's calendar looks as though it can solve some of these problems, but what are you actually getting? So we're going to take a look at this new ClickUp or revamped ClickUp calendar, where it's currently at and where it's going to leave you wanting more. ClickUp launched a revamped calendar tool recently in March 2025 that integrates tasks, docs, chats, and meetings in the one place. The most interesting feature of the calendar from a marketing perspective are the integrated AI meeting note taker and AI powered time blocking for tasks. But what are these added AI features? Are they helpful to your workflow and are they actually available? Now, here we are on the marketing landing page for this new ClickUp calendar tool, which to be honest, I believe it's just a simple revamp of the calendar view within your ClickUp workspace. And knowing that ClickUp actually acquired HyperCal last year, it feels as though they've just quickly plugged in the features from HyperCal and shipped this to launch. Now, if we scroll down, we'll notice that not all features talked about are available yet. Like here, we notice that we can't actually get tasks created and added on our behalf, which was one of the most interesting, exciting parts of this new release. But we also can't send scheduling links, and we also can't search and ask questions about our schedule. So those AI features other than the note taking for meetings aren't actually available yet. And if we jump into the UI, we're still only able to access calendar through that calendar view. Whereas in the marketing materials, we saw that this was available as its own tool, its own standalone tool that we could jump into and readily manage all of our work from within. Perhaps I haven't been released knowing that this still is in somewhat of a better stage, but I figured with that big launch around this calendar tool that we would have access to really play with those features. It doesn't appear as though just yet. Something else that we should be wary of is I know with ClickUp apps and add-ons, usually we're having to pay to get these extra features. So I wonder if when Calendar is actually broadly released and readily available, if we're gonna be prompted to pay for it. Now, while we can't see ClickUp Calendar in the same way that we saw it within the marketing materials, I'll make sure to link that video in the description of this video so you can go watch what ClickUp had to say. Well, we can actually still access the revamped calendar. You'll notice up here in the top that you've got that calendar icon. Select this and then you'll be prompted to connect your calendar. I'm going to connect my Google calendar and we have the option just to simply create a personal connection or we can have a two-way sync and so on. I'm just going to keep it simple for the sake of this video by connecting my calendar. Okay, so we've connected one of my work Google calendars to my ClickUp calendar. We'll notice that we have the workspace option available here, but it's not actually currently available. So I can see that there are going to be a lot of improvements to this revamped calendar, but it feels like it was launched in a rush and in a hurry. I'm not actually seeing any improvements to what was offered before. Let's dive a bit deeper and see if we can find something. Now, personally, the way I like to work is to set up time blocks throughout my day. I know that at this time I'll be working on that task, that project with this client and the two-way sync with the ClickUp calendar ensures that I don't have to leave my ClickUp workspace while I'm working on tasks to go and check at which time I'll be working within a particular time block. It'll automatically populate my Google calendar and allow me to understand, well, hey, it's time to jump on to this next task. That way I can easily connect and collaborate on tasks without having to leave ClickUp. That does make it super easy. Then of course we can lean on the Ask AI feature to find out more. However, within testing in the past, I don't actually find that it really does a lot for me. It's great when I want to find out what my team members and colleagues are working on, but personally, because I can see all the tasks that I've got front and center, I don't need to rely on AI to understand what I've got to do today. And also, because I'm time blocking through my Google Calendar, I'm always receiving notifications telling me, hey, it's time to finish that project, let's move on to the next. So is this ClickUp Calendar a game changer? Well, 
For some, it's incredibly exciting because we will see some improvements to it that do make your task handling a lot easier. But currently, I think it's just another step in the ongoing battle of those tools wanting to be the all-in-one powerhouse without adding that much more value. Something else that we need to discuss is the AI note taker offered by ClickUp. Yes, the marketing materials for ClickUp Calendar made it seem like it was being released with the calendar tool, but the AI note taker is something that was made available earlier in the year. It's an app, a ClickUp add-on. So you will be paying for this feature. Yes, you can use it within the calendar, but it's not as such an added feature to the calendar as much as it is a standalone feature itself. Scrolling down the landing page, we can see that you will be expected to pay $6 per month. So again, that doesn't come with the calendar tool. Not only will it be $6 per month, it will also be $6 per month per user. You've got five users, multiply that by six, on top of what you're already paying for the ClickUp workspace, on top of if you are using other ClickUp apps. Now, we can see here that it's comparing it to Fathom, Fireflies, Otter, and Grain. I recently did a video comparing some AI note takers that are leading the industry today. And I can tell you that those aren't entry level prices. If you want to take a look at that video, make sure to watch it. It's linked up here. And then you can come back and make a decision on whether ClickUp AI note taker is actually worth it. Now, I don't currently have access to ClickUp's AI note taker. However, in the past, I did test and trial it. And I can say that the great thing about it is you can automatically pull in your notes and summarizations from a meeting directly into ClickUp. However, this is of course possible with other AI note takers and it doesn't set itself apart from the others. Well, we took a look at ClickUp's new revamped calendar and we found that while yes, there are some features to be released that are gonna be incredibly exciting and help you collaborate with your team better, currently as it stands, it's only a somewhat improvement on the previous calendar view. If you want to learn more about how you can use ClickUp within your business, make sure to watch our ClickUp playlist, or perhaps you're looking for alternatives. Well, we have plenty of videos that look at other work management tools. If you need help setting up your business or automating parts of it, then don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30 minute consultation, so book yours today.